Hi Snooker fans, Curtis Blades at air4snookerfans.co.uk Just with our own player, the main man, Kurt Mafflin, after his 4-1 victory over Simon Lichtenberg in the first round of the Regal Masters. Kurt, steady start today, pal. Yeah, I mean, 4-1, fair enough result, I suppose. He didn't play great. Uh, I played right in a few frames and managed to scrap out the rest, really. Yeah, he started off with a good century, like he said, uh, to settle you down, um, good like good 30 40 or break on the second frame when the reds were quite tied up which yeah got a kick on the red i yeah. went to the pack from the black and i thought i ate the pack quite well really it split nicely i just didn't really get on a red uh went for like a 50 50 ball and had a massive kick on it i, was, I fancy i probably would have gone on i won that second frame quite easy with another another big break but uh yeah for one now start of the season you take it didn't you absolutely mate first uh, tournament of the season there's been a lot of shock results already which is not surprising because people haven't played bundles mate yeah. so like you said it's not really about how well you play just getting to four and that was it really wasn't it yeah because you've got a lot of the Q school players and the players that are top ups they've been playing for the last three weeks really so they're quite sharp coming in so it's no no big shocks if they beat beat some of the higher ranked players absolutely pal. And and some players haven't had the best best uh, preparation my preparation for this this week hasn't been great because of certain things, but you know, uh, hopefully, I need it's about time I had a good start to the season. Do you know what I mean? I haven't had a good start to the season, actually, I never have, I've never had a good start <laughs> to the season. So, no, let's 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 go for it this time, yeah, absolutely. Pardon, like you said, they've got uh, another Q school player in the uh, next event, <coughs> Long Zi Huang, I think his name is. I uh, saw a little bit of him in the final qualifying in Barry Pinches. You're gonna to have to be a bit sharper than you were today to get over that one, pal. That's for sure. Yeah, I mean, I, like you, you've seen all the players over the last few weeks playing. Uh, I do keep an eye out on some of the few few players coming through. I look at the Q score results and I go in and have a look to see who's making breaks. So I've seen, I, I see his name a few times, and he got he got deep in a couple of them, didn't he? Yeah. yeah. And uh, the other one I was looking at was the the other young kid. Side you Yeah. He, I haven't seen him play, I haven't seen him hit a ball, but he looks really good from his break building. Yeah. I mean he's he's been scoring heavy. Yeah, I saw him so a lot in Wigan, mate. Good player. I think he can he can probably do some damage. I mean I know Ricky beat him four one the other day, but obviously Gannett from Q school to, to the main tours it's a whole different game, isn't it? You know? Yeah. So uh yeah, no, I just have a couple of days off now. When I say we'll still be practicing, try and get a couple of hours in tomorrow, be over the venue, watch a bit of the games. And uh, yeah, just chill out, really. So just touching on you, Paul. Like, obviously finished at the Worlds. Uh, disappointing last round, but like good, good first two victories in the qualifiers. Well, what have you been up to since then, Paul? Not really. Just had a lot of family time. You know, it's just nice to get home. Just, just get home and be with the family. I mean, some, a lot of the time when I go back, I'm only back for sort of it's anywhere sort of between ten days and three weeks. And very rarely is it three weeks. It's normally ten to fourteen yeah. days that I mean we get back home, and it's not really a lot of time. Obviously, the missus is working, the little ones at school, so, you know, it's it's just nice to have a few weeks where you can just sort of chill out and, you know, deconnect, really. I've done a bit of commentary on the, the World Championships for, yeah. for Eurosport in Norway, so, yeah, not, not, not really been doing a lot, just chilling out, having a bit of family time, and that's about it, really. Good man, and touching on the world, man, what performance <clears throat> from Juddy, fantastic that week, wasn't it? I have never seen anyone play that well in a final before, never. Unbelievable, unbelievable performance. I commentated the old final. Uh, I thought it was astonishing. I've never seen anyone play like eighteen frames constantly. That well is ridiculous, really. Yeah. Uh, I think Egan said that himself afterwards. That there was only one. I mean, and that's being critical. There's only one turning point maybe in that final, and that was when Egan's. I mean, they both were playing unreal. Yeah. But Egan's had a ton, and I think he went. Um, I think he went five four up or something. Egan's, and he missed the ball after Judd missed a couple in the next frame. Yeah. And if you'd have taken that frame to go 6-4, I don't know, it's still miles away, but that felt like a massive turning point. Yeah, psychologically in the game, just, isn't it? Trump yeah. just went on one and it was just yeah. unbelievable to watch. Fantastic. Yeah, I was so impressed, man. I had the pleasure of being there for the 17 days. And like I said, it was strange that like, he seemed to save his best sneaker for the final because he was decent throughout the tournament. Could have easily gone out to step trial. Should have gone out to step Should have really, shouldn't he? Like, if he I mean, that double as well. That he's played at 9 9. Yeah. White's rattled in the jaws, and you know, he's landed plum on the blue. Obviously, he's done well to, to clear up, but I mean, uh, Tetra, I thought, was a little bit unlucky that he didn't get on a ball. He's gone into the pack on 29 yeah. or 32. Or whatever, right, yeah. Yeah. If he gets on a ball there, Tetra is good. I mean, he's, he's really good. Yeah. That, I reckon he'd have had that in one hit. Yeah. So, yeah, he could have easily gone out there. Ding game as well, I suppose, it was a bit sort of 
back with the fours. I think he was yeah. nine seven down overnight. Yeah, he was. Yeah. And then Tell you what, he played fantastically did, didn't he, the yeah, following day to did. with 13 nine, didn't he? He did. And uh, no, he thoroughly deserved it really, because especially when you're not playing your best game as well, and you're still getting through. I mean, that takes some doing. Absolutely, Barna. Just touching on you again, mate. Massive season for you. Obviously, you talked about starting well. Your 2017 season, the reason I mentioned that, guys, because the ranking list rolls in two years. You didn't have a great 2017, which means you've not got a lot of money coming off you mm. this year. So it's a real good chance to start well and rocket yourself up and get yourself back into the top 32. But, well, that's the plan, you know, just try and practice as much as I can, just try and dedicate myself as much as I can. You know, hopefully my, I start sort of playing, you know, the game that I will know I can. And just yeah. like my ability starts coming through and, you know, winning the scrappy frames a lot more. You know, not, I'm not saying I'm, I'm a player that loses my head, I don't really lose my head, but I can sometimes maybe be, you know, not the best friend in the corner sometimes when you're sitting there, if you've missed an easy ball or you have yeah. a bit of bad run and, you know, just get rid of that and just sort of, just purely focus on every sort of shot really. Take, take, take every shot, you know, one step at a time. Yeah, well look mate, you said you've got a good firm base around you now as well, like I said, uh, you, I know your, your mindset's a lot better than it was, mm. so I mean, I'm really hoping for big things this year, but as, as a lot of us are connected with you. Yeah, I'm just hoping, you know, I finished the season okay last year, I mean, I didn't play exceptionally well in the Worlds, in the qualifying rounds, I sort of just played well enough, and uh, obviously Doc played pretty well in the last game, but if I could just keep building on top of that, you know, I'm starting to get my, my scoring power back as well, I feel like I'm quite deadly in the balls at the moment, which is uh, a worrying sign for everyone else. <laughs> no, no, I mean, I just, when I'm, you know, you know what it's like, when I'm in the balls and I'm scoring, it's, yeah. I'm normally, yeah, well, I'm on top form then, you know? Yeah, yeah. So, you know, I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully we can get deep in a few of these tournaments and give some of these big boys a few ideas because, you know, it's about time I started sort of kicking on. Absolutely, pal. Well, look, I can't get any younger, am I? Let's put it that way. You're not, mate, you're not, pal. You might be getting prettier, but I'm not getting any younger. I'll tell the jokes, mate. <laughs> but yeah, I just want to, big shout out to the Snooker fans as well, obviously, snookerfans.co.uk and uh, be looking forward to working with you lot this year as well. Cheers, Paul. And look, it's always a pleasure talking with you, Paul. Right, was. And I'll uh, let you relax and chill on the sofa as you never move. <laughs> but uh, look, well done today. And yeah. um, all the best in the International Championship on Saturday. So. Cheers, I appreciate it. Well, we'll catch up with each other tomorrow anyway, won't we? Absolutely. Yeah. Actually, we've actually got a nice treat for you guys. We're actually going for dinner with Jimmy tomorrow. So yeah. we'll try and get him on camera for a bit of banter, guys. And uh, yeah. That's it, but always a pleasure catching up. You're supposed to have a little football discussion coming that way as well, wouldn't it? We are, guys. Yeah, let me let me let you know about that as well. We'll be doing like a basically like a football talk show with a Chelsea fan, which will probably be Kurt, an Arsenal fan, which I reckon will probably be Mark Davis, and a finally United fan as well. Me being a Liverpool fan, you got to be in it. It's a it's a good balance, guys. So watch out for that one coming very 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 soon, and uh, we will catch you guys later. What's up, man? <laughs>